I've always heard about the benefits of waxing your bike chain, but for whatever reason, I just never tried it for myself. I was pretty content with cleaning my drivetrain and just throwing some lube on there as needed, but I recently got in contact with Cyclowax, a new company that offers chain wax and other products. David was in town for Santaval, the first big gravel race of the season here in Girona, so we decided to meet up so I could ask him some questions and put a wax chain onto my new gravel bike from MMR. All right, so David, I'm here at Dos Off Track with you, and I have my new MMR gravel bike, uh, but I wanted to put the wax chain on there, and this is super new to me. I've never done it before, so you can, t can you tell me, like, what is the whole process behind the wax chain with yeah. your product? I mean, first of all, amazing bike. <laughs> really love it, especially with the new T-type drive train, right? Yes, yes, the Eagle, uh, Stram Eagle. Yeah, I mean, waxing, of course, like, the chain is dry, so it doesn't attract any dirt and you know it lasts way longer so i mean the process is actually really simple uh like what we do like we sell a whole kit so you have a wax chain a pre-wax chain in the kit you have a cleaning kit because you need to dr clean the drivetrain and everything one time one time only and you're done with it for your whole life there's a wax tablet in it and there's a little heater hanger to actually wax the chain so the process is actually really simple like after three to five hundred kilometers so that's like 190 to 300 miles, something like this. You need to re-wax it. And you basically take off the chain, you put it in the little heater, it takes roughly 10 minutes for the wax to melt. You hang it up, let it dry, minimum of 10, 15 minutes, and you put it back on the bike. Or like how I like to say is like, okay, you come back from a ride, like you know, okay, you need to re-wax. Right. You take it off, you put it in the pot, you take a shower, you come back, you stir it a little bit, like agitate it, right. hang it up, you get your pre-ride or post-ride food right. and you're done. <laughs> How many wax tablets do you get in each box? Yeah, it's just one tablet. One tablet. Yeah, right. and you can do, I mean, it's optimized for like eight times. So that's roughly, let's say 3,000 to 5,000 kilometers. Okay. But that's optimized. So, I mean, you can use it afterwards. But so the wax, it, it doesn't get dirty, but like the dirt is going to be in the wax. Right. So the longer you use it, the more contamination there is in the wax. Okay. So, I mean, you can use it till it's done, but right. there's optimizing there is like... <laughs> right. Do I have to buy a whole new kit if I want to get more wax or how does that no. work on the... So we have two tablets. There's a basic tablet and a performance pro tablet. So the basic tablet is like just for everybody. Like if you're not racing, like, okay, you can buy it, but right. the pro like you can buy the performance pro, but like you do you yeah, <laughs> kind yeah. of idea. But like the performance pro, there's way more editors in there. So it's like really like marginal gain ones. Uh, so that's the big difference. And you can just buy the tablet separate. Okay, and then, so this is a gravel bike. Yeah. Um, I'll also have a road bike. What is the difference? Is there a difference in like the application process for a gravel bike versus a road bike? And then I guess next we can talk about what are the benefits to having a wax chain on gravel? Cause mm -hmm. I've always heard of people using it on the road. Yeah. So, I mean, the application process is exactly the same. Okay. I mean, like, of course, you need to clean the drivetrain one time before you, like, you put on a brand new wax chain, or, like before you start waxing. Right. On a gravel bike, that's normally a bit more work, you know? Yes, <laughs> we had to spend some time cleaning my bike today. Yeah, yeah, but I think on a road bike, that's a bit less. Um, the biggest difference between a road bike and a gravel bike is just how, lost, how long the wax will last. Because, of course, like all the grime and dirt from the gravel, it's just no good for nothing, you right. know? Uh, so then it's three to 500 K where on the road, like you can ride up to 800 kilometers, which, but like in the process itself, there's no difference. It's just the longevity. There's a difference. Okay. So I know a lot of people, I've heard of a lot of people using the slow cookers to wax a chain. What's the difference between cyclo wax mm -hmm. in that process? And why should somebody think about using this instead of the uh, slow cooker process. Yeah, I mean, there's a few things, right? But <laughs> like, you know, if you want to buy a slow cooker and you want to buy all the little parts yourself, fine, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. You probably also like to like really tink with your bike and not go to the bike mechanic and all that stuff, right. yeah, fine. Like the big difference is like everything is in the kit. So you get the chain pre wax so you don't have to clean it yourself. You get a wax awesome. tablet, so you don't have to source another wax tablet. You get a little hanger, so you don't have to bend the spoke or whatever. You get the little cleaning kit, so you don't have to buy cleaning supplies. You get the little heater that fits in the chain, which is in the right temperature. You have the warranty, you have the support, like right, right. ease of mind, of peace of mind. <laughs> Versus just doing it on your own and... 
figuring it out yeah. through the internet and yeah, YouTube videos, yeah. things like that. Okay. And like, you know, if things go wrong and you buy all yourselves, then, you know, you have nowhere to go kind of this idea. This is true. This is true. And also like with the wax, it's really important to not overheat it. Like 100 degrees Celsius, so that's like 210 Fahrenheit. That's kind of like the limit of the wax. After that, it starts to degrade. And also, you know, it starts to be a bit flammable. Right. <laughs> so like, I mean, there's a, it's a higher limit, but like, there's a risk somewhere. And if you buy a slow cooker that goes to like 120, 150 or something like that, like that's the risk that you take on your own. Right. Well, not to cut easy. you off, but with cycle wax, you don't have to worry about that. Nah. Okay. Just one temperature, all okay. fixed. That's awesome. Yeah. And then what type of price point are we looking at? Because I know you mentioned there's two different chains okay. uh, that you can buy the race, the performance cycle X kit yeah. and the, or chain, and then the normal one. No, so it's the basic tablet okay. or the performance pro tablet. That's the difference in tablets. But like in the kit, you get the performance pro tablet. Okay. So the racing one actually, but then you can choose like the different chains. So like you have 10, 11, 12 speed, Shimano, gotcha. SRAM okay. or whatever. Yeah. All right. And then those, all those obviously have different price points. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And where are you guys based out of? So we're based in Ghent in Belgium, so like home of the classic season. Right. And then we just opened a warehouse in America, uh, month, roughly a month ago. So then like if you order from America, it ships from there, it goes That's awesome. easy. Uh, or yeah, here in Europe is from Belgium, from Ghent. Okay, so you're available in America, the Europe, yeah. all of Europe. Uh, any other zones like Asia or anything? I mean, else? you can order it, okay. but then of course you have like the customs and all that stuff and the shipping is fairly expensive then, you know, but like, uh, if you want, yes. But like Europe and America, like, that's where most of the cyclists are, roughly. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. If you're interested in learning more about CycleWax, check out the link in my bio. And David, thanks again for coming by. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>